Okay, hi guys, it's Ian again. Um, this next little tutorial I wanted to show you is the is the one where we linked photographs uh, from a site to uh, a layer, and um, we're going to do that using uh, a popular plugin called the Evas plugin. Now I say it's popular; I've never really used it, but uh, I think it probably will be quite useful when you discussed. Um, linking photographs to kill sites uh, and and possibly even uh, camera sites and that sort of thing. So I'll show you that now. And uh, the first thing I want to just show you is the what the folders look like. Okay, so I've created this little folder um, for the Evas plugin, and we've got some spatial uh, layers here, and there is a folder specifically for photographs. Okay, so here's my photographs with their uh, unique names that I'm going to link to to each of the features or points from a a layer. Now the layer I'm going to add is going to be from this uh, CSV layer. If I open that up, this is what it looks like. Okay, we've got the the actual photo number and then the photo name. So this, oops, so this name here will link to those photographs I just showed you. And it's also got a, a column for the bearing, and this is the the uh, the direction the photographer was facing when the photograph was taken, uh, and that is one of the the, uh, the the values we'll use in the Evas plugin. And then there's also a label. So that's that's pretty much all that this uh, this layer file is going to contain. And let's add that now and see how it looks. So I can close this down. Go and save that. Don't worry about that. Let's open up uh, the QGIS desktop. Okay, so my QGIS is opened up, and then I want to add that CSV layer. So I'm going to click on the Add CSV button, and then just browse for that that file, which was under Spatial Tables Photos. This is it. And looking at it now, as it is, it's going to load properly, and the the columns are in the right places. It's, uh, it's already selected an X and Y chord, so I think I'm happy with that. Let's add it, and then it's uh, it's going to be WGS84. Okay, and there's my points, and maybe I'll just add a background layer or a, a base layer just to see exactly where this is and make sure it's in the right place. Uh, let's use the Bing Aerial one. Drag that on top. Yeah, that does look like the right place. Let's change this color up so I can so I can see the icons. Maybe make them a little bigger and something striking. That'll stand out on top of the photography. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got our, our new layer added uh, as the CS the CSV file and now added as a layer. And this is the layer and the and the um, the column we're going to link to those photographs. So what you'll need to do is turn on the Eva's plugin. Now I'm not sure. I think it's under is it under web? Okay, it's not actually here. So it's actually, it's actually sits under the database um, drop down menu, and it's not here. So I just need to activate that plugin. So I'm going to go manage and install, and that'll access the online repository. And then it's Eva's. Okay, so let's just turn that on. And then close. Now under database, there we go. So this is the one we need to to edit. So uh, where do I go now? If I turn on this button, yes, yeah, so we go to the event browser and options. We're going to set the path as relative, and the path that's going to contain the name is 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 the image. These are these are, these are the, the columns, and and it was the the column named image, which has the the image name, I want to remember that. Uh, we are going to display a compass bearing, and it's automatically selected bearing as the as the column, which is correct. And we want to remember that. Now we just need to set the the path name. So if I open up that that folder again uh, in my uh, in my explorer, and just go to the correct tutorial and it was photos so I want to take that I'm going to take that path name okay so I've just selected it I've right clicked I want to copy that and if I paste that in here 
and remember it and then save that it should display correctly. There we go. Okay, so it has linked. The fact that I can see an image now proves to me that it's linked. And uh, the actual photograph uh, or, or the, the, the feature that is linking to this photograph is displayed down here at the bottom. Now you can just click on your little tab here. Sorry, let me just go sort that dog out. Okay, where was I? Um, okay, so the photograph that's, uh, that's linking to the feature is shown up by the feature being colored yellow. And if I click on the little next button, it shows the, the other feature that's selected, as well as an arrow which is pointing in the direction of that bearing. So you can see this one's set at 45 degrees. So with uh, directly north being zero, then out to the side shall be 45 degrees. We go to the next one, that is 90 degrees. That one, 270, 180. And yeah, it gives you it's a, it's it's a nice link and, and way to view uh, what the site or view was of that um, of that feature or from that feature. So I mean, you don't have to link uh, panoramic views. You could link actual uh, animals or photos of animals, uh, that kind of thing to this. Uh, yeah, to using this little plugin. So that's that's pretty much it. Quite a quite a straightforward little um, plugin to use. Uh, what else can I show you? Under the Eva's ID tool, yeah. So you can actually use that little <coughs> the Eva's ID tool, and then you go and click on the actual item that you're you're interested in, and then the same thing is it pops up and it opens opens a window and showing that view. Likewise, so this this view needs to move. Oh, see, and it doesn't close the previous one, so it just starts opening consecutive views. So you will need to close each one after you've you've clicked and, and viewed it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Yeah, give us a shout if you have any questions with regards to this particular plugin, but um, fairly useful. I, I don't know if you guys will use it. I, I, I haven't found a, a real use for it, but if you guys do let me know, I'd be interested uh, interested to, to know what you get up to. Okay, thanks. Cheers.